Hey, Crypto Growth Fam, how's it going? This is your host Shazib signing in. We're back with another video, guys. In this video, we will be discussing Sologenic and Corium building on the blockchain it's going to be an interesting one guys to so make sure to watch till the end and folks for those of you who are new to the channel we primarily discuss utility coins and potential gems if you uh, if you're interested in uh, utility coins and potential gems then subscribe the channel and hit the notification icon for regular videos and you can also support the channel by becoming a patreon so do check that out as well only if you're interested and folks keep your assets safe and for that you guys can check out the crypto growth exclusive discount offer on decent decent is convenient safe and secure you can check out their biometric wallet which has got a phenomenal 50 dollars off and you can also check out their biometric wallet 2x package guys which has got an astonishing 129 dollars off only if you follow the link in the description box below by the way folks decent supports 3000 plus of your favorite coins and tokens and it supports 50 plus blockchain mainnets uh, so do check it out i personally prefer storing the assets in a cold hardware wallet you can check it out uh, and be safe anyways guys now let us look into the price and chart of both sologenic and Corium at the time of the recording guys so this is sologenic uh, at the moment the price is down 2.36 percent for the day uh it, the price has come down from 0 0.109 still guys i told you the 10 cent mark remains a crucial support level this uh, psychological level i hope the price uh, remains above it hovers above it because guys check this out uh, this is the monthly chart. We're down 6.95%. But guys, overall, both I've told you, uh, if you have conviction in Sologenic and Korea, and both are extremely undervalued at the moment. If you look at their all-time charts, uh, down significantly since its all-time highs, guys, from six dollars almost. Let me look at look into the all-time high, six point six three dollars, guys. It is down ninety eight point four percent. So significant uh, opportunity from for upward potential from this point onwards, uh, as well as Corium, guys. You can check out the all-time uh, chart. It is significantly down since its all-time highs as well. Uh, to be precise, 99.24% according to CMC, uh, $11.42 uh, all-time high two years ago, May 3, 2022. So guys, uh, great opportunity. If uh, if you look at the chart, it says 0 0.7561, but I do not know. But according to CMC, it is down, way down since its all-time highs. Anyways, guys, Corium has a great opportunity like Sologenic. I saw a post over here. Uh, check this out. Here is a brief overview of some of the projects building on the Corium. So Sologenic and Corium are like uh, an integral part of one another, in my opinion, guys. They go hand in hand. The Both of their success will be simultaneous, in my opinion, because they remain one of the best projects associated with the XRPL and the XR, basically the Ripple infrastructure. Uh, here is a brief overview of some of the projects building on the Corium blo blockchain. So Sologenic is the number one. Number one. There are others as well. De Decent, okay, wallet is a hardware wallet that supports Corium. I really like Decent. I've told you again, if you want to check it out, uh, they've got uh, these packages, which I shared with you guys. Stably, Common is a decentralized social media platform. Amber, Exelio. A lot of them, but Sologenic, Pulsara Dex, but Sologenic is the first and primary one, guys, is a decentralized exchange Dex that allows users to trade fractionalized stocks and ETFs, guys. Do you know how big of a market this is? We are talking about trillions, guys, and the market cap of Sologenic at the moment only. 42 or 43 million dollars approximately guys it is one of the first projects to be built on Corium, and it has been instrumental in helping to prove the scalability and security of the platform like i told you it is an integral part of uh, uh, Corium's infrastructure anyways so uh, talking about updates about uh, solo check this out guys we have uh, the co-founder and cto of sologenic speaking at apex 24 in amsterdam and according to skills 45 he has done a great work so let us look uh, and uh, hear raza speak of sologenic and corium my background is in engineering with focus um, on blockchain and ai sologenic is one of the first and the largest ecosystems built on top of the xrp ledger providing decentralized applications 
that uh, leverage the use of native functionalities on the ledger. Excited to be here. Thanks, Saul. Great to have you here. It is a trustless and decentralized way for um, value assets and data to move across different chains. It is crucial essentially for two groups of um, users. End users, where they get um, better liquidity, um, more seamless experience using uh, blockchain. And for the second group of uh, users, which are the developers and the builder, builders on the ecosystem, are um, they can scale really fast with, uh, with interoperability and uh, brings more innovation because um, interoperability allows developers to use different functionalities of different chains as you know, there are 20,000 blockchains around, and you know each excels in one doing one thing really good. Um, by by leveraging interoperability, developers can actually utilize different things from different chains, and that's very important for user adoption because essentially um, that brings that seamless experience I mentioned. Sologenic at this point is a household name within the XRPL community. You've been building on the chain since 2019. Uh, like any community, XRPL has its own flavor, preferences, um, you know, use cases that users are interested in. Uh, tell us a little bit about, you know, how you think the XRPL community should think about cross-chain and, and interoperability specifically. Um, at Sologenic, one of the key pillars of our strategy is going multi-chain. And um, we have uh, developed an entire layer one blockchain called Corium. Um, to extend the ledger, the XRP ledger's functionality beyond what's available today. Um, we built a bridge so that assets can seamlessly transfer between one chain, the XRP ledger, to Corium and back. And not only um, XRP, but every issued currency on the ledger can be um, transferred to uh, the Corium blockchain, which essentially is an IBC-enabled chain that unlocks access to hundreds of chains that use this standard. Um, on the other hand, assets from IBC-based chains, such as um, Corium, USDC, and any other asset that exists there, can flow on the XRP ledger in a seamless and um, trusted way. And I think um, interoperability for, um, for XRP ledger is important, and um, it, it makes um, users unlock different um, value with what they're doing. You, um, if you have assets on the XRP ledger, um, while the XRP ledger provides a lot of functionalities, um, you know, from the the code base it has today, and where it's working on a lot of new amendments, um, you can extend that functionality like uh, with smart contracts. And we actually developed a thing called smart tokens, and smart tokens are, um, you know, tokens that. Um, sort of follow the XRPL's vision in a way that they are deterministic in gas and as, you know, um, a really fast finality. Um, and I think that's pretty much what we've done with uh, extending the um, functionality. Tokenize um, securities like stocks, ETFs. And um, so the XRP ledger provides most of the tools we need to do that. You have the, the trust lines, which allows you to um, whitelist or blacklist any address, which is required by regulatory frameworks. And then you have the, the XRPL DEX, which allows you to provide liquidity um, on demand for any asset to any asset. So despite um, you know, having the AMMs, which, is, which are great for um, popular assets like Bitcoin, USDC, XRP, USDC, and so on, the, 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 the order book DEX of the XRP ledger allows you for um, to swap any asset against any asset before providing the liquidity. So you don't need to have the liquidity to, to, to be able to swap um, or to be able to participate in that market. Um, that's great, but then we took it as, as a bit further by uh, introducing Corium, obviously, um, to extend a DeFi functionalities for these RWAs and tokenized assets. Um, as assets move um, a cross-chain in a trustless way. They can be used in other DeFi applications like lending, borrowing, or um, any other, um, you know, AMM uh, pools that are available on the whole uh, IBC-based chains. And, and I think that is actually really good because um, it allows uh, institutions to um, tokenize assets 
uh, real world assets, securities or anything, um, real estate, in one chain and be able to use it on the other chain. And the XRP ledger, as Jason mentioned, is, is in a really good position for institutions to just do that. Um, so we're providing the required tools around the whole ecosystem. And I'm, that's what essentially multi, being multi-chain means here in this space. Good yeah, user. Guys, this was awesome from Reza. Uh, I think uh, this makes me even more bullish on Corium and Sologenic, to be very honest with you. He explained it extremely well. Uh, he explained interoperability, institutional use case, tokenization of stocks, shares, uh, the smart tokens. I think that uh, the future of Sologenic and Corium, in my opinion, seems bright, but uh, I would really like your take on it as well. What, do you guys, what did you guys think about uh, what Reza just said? I really liked it. Let me just uh, repost this as well over, over here. Ex exactly, guys. Well done. Your explanation, explanation was perfect. I wish we could see you more on panels representing Corium and Sologenic. Indeed, guys, I really liked it as well. What is your take? Uh, do hit the comment box below and let the community know. Anyways, guys, this was it for the video. If you liked it, make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification icon if you're interested in utility coins and potential gems. And you can also support the channel by becoming a Patreon, so do check that out. Like I always say in the end, until next time, stay blessed and stay tuned. Thank you very much, everyone.